Okay, it is 6 o'clock, so we'll call our meeting to order. And then again, I should be sending the Pledge of Allegiance. Please all rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Next up is our consent agenda, and commissioners may remove any single item from the agenda. Oh, minutes, I'm sorry. I scrolled down too quickly. We entertain a motion for approval of the December 11, 2018 minutes. Support, that motion is supported. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion is carried. Now moving to our consent agenda. <laughs> Stop it. You want to take this? No, it's one, of, it's one of those calls. One of those calls that's using a local number. Yeah, call yeah. Me and, Makes it look like. Uh, <laughs> tell me my credit card. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's we'll start over. Consent agenda. Commissioners may remove any individual item from the resolution. Or you may remove, or you may approve all of the items in the consent agenda. I don't want motion. So, what is your pleasure? I should probably, I probably should tell you what's under here. For the, for the public. First is request for payment in the amount of five thousand five hundred dollars to the state of Michigan for the annual NPDES permit fee for two thousand nineteen for discharges at the wastewater treatment plant. Second item is request for payment in the amount of two thousand four hundred thirty-one dollars and twelve cents the state of Michigan for the annual biosolids land application fee for 2019 for the reported tonnage of 2018 by the wastewater treatment plant. And the third and final item is request for payment in the amount of $6,000 to the Gratiot Isabella Regional School District for the MMNet internet services for the period of July 1, 2018 to June 30, 2019 by the Elmo Public Library. So, those are three items, your pleasure. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. The motion is carried. Request for purchase, we have five. First up is request for purchase the amount of $5,200 to Etna Supply for 40 5 8 by 3 quarter inch residential meters to restock the Elmo Water Plant inventory. Your pleasure. Support. support. Motion to support. Are there any comments or questions? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. The motion is carried. Item two is request for purchase in the amount of $1,584.31 to ASAP Sales and Service for the snowplow frame and hardware to, to equip the new <coughs> pickup truck. So <coughs> the motion is support. Anybody have any questions? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion is carried. Item three is request for the purchase of the amount of $1,700 to ESRI for the ARC GIS annual software maintenance renewal for the engineering department. Support. Support. Got motion support. Are there any comments or questions? ER, ESRI, is that a company name or an acronym for a company? Or? That's ESRI Incorporated. ESRI Incorporated, okay. And this is the GIS is the global information system for our mapping. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Can we find it on the web? Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else have questions? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion is carried. Item number four is request for purchase in the amount of $3,820 to applied imaging for the purchase of four Canon M or DR M260 scanners from the Elmo Public Library and staff at City Hall. Support. support. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion is carried. Number five, request for payment in the amount of $2,500 to Elmo Realty for the Elmo Downtown Development Authority facade, roof, fire safety enhancement program for the property at 119 West Superior, which was damaged by a fire at 117 West Superior. Support. Any comments or questions? What, what building is that? 
that's the building that houses uh, Katie Tobias Insurance and uh, Rogers. Rogers Stanford Foods. Okay, all right, thank you. Which, full disclosure, happens to be one property that I've ever been interested in, so. Any other comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And I would like to abstain, please. And just so, this is a very good use of our funds for that. That fire was started in 117 West Superior Street and damaged that building very significantly. And it was, you know, Katie's office had to move out for many months as it's finally restored and back to work. So everything's looking really good there. So this is a really good use of our funds. Just make her agree. I believe the motion was carried. Okay. Thank you all for my interest in the project. Um, moving resolutions. First up is consideration of a resolution of appreciation for Commissioner Donald L. Ayers. I'll entertain a motion. Support. Support. Okay, we have a motion and support. I have, we have a plaque to present, so. You do that at this time, is that correct? Okay. So, Don, that means I believe you and I need to go to Hunt Center. <laughs> Almost did this once before, right? Yes, yeah, <laughs> I tried, tried to get out of this, but you didn't, did you? Okay. Consideration of a resolution of appreciation for Commissioner Donald L. Ayers. Whereas Donald L. Ayers has faithfully served the Alma City Commission since January 1, 2004, and whereas Don has played a key role in the economic and community development of Elma throughout his tenure on the commission through such projects as the construction of Adams Avenue, Pine Avenue Extension, Panther Parkway, and Willow Run, the expansion of the Elma Public Library, construction of the Elma Dark Facility, the Fred Meyer, Meyer Heartland Trail, the two-way street conversion in the Central Business De District, execution of the Elma Master Plan Agreement, creation of an obsolete property rehabilitation districts, and whereas Don has supported intergovernmental within the intergovernmental within the county and the neighboring Pine River and Arcadia townships and the city of St. Louis for housing and economic development projects. And whereas Don has campaigned to support the successful passage of municipal millage issues involving the renewal of neighborhood street program initiatives for the years 2006, 2011, 2016, the $3.5 million Elmo Public Library expansion project, and the enactment of over 150 ordinances. And whereas <laughs> Don has carried out his fiduciary responsibilities, which have resulted in the award of millions of dollars in grants and contributions from multiple projects and programs throughout the city of Elma, during his tenure at the city of Elma, reach the achievement of sufficient fund balances and operating funds to assure the continuation of municipal services during the periods of economic downturns, all of which have been accomplished through a period of uncertain municipal revenues and in the absence of any increases in the general fund operating millage. And whereas Don has also shared his personal time and professional talents through his service as a member of the Elmo Planning Commission and Zoning Board of Appeals, he has played a role in promoting the annual Highland Festival and the come home to Elma for the holiday celebrations. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the City of Elma Commission, city staff, and citizens of the Elma community express their heartfelt gratitude for Donald L. Ayers' contributions through his 15-year tenure as an elected official for the City of Elma and further extends their wishes for his continued success as he once again becomes a private citizen following the expiration of his term on December 31, 2018. And, we like that word. <laughs> be it further proclaimed that this resolution to be presented to Don, Commissioner Donald L. Ayers as the, at the December 27, 2018 City Commission meeting and that this resolution be entered in the official minutes of the City of Elma Commission dated this 27th day of December 2018. And Don, I congratulate you. Congra congratulate you. Thank you and very thank much. Thank you very much. For <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I did an awful lot. Mel's been on a lot longer than me, so. But thank you again. You're thank you all. A lot of so, me, so thanks. It certainly is appreciated. Okay. Well, you might as well stay there. Well, just <laughs> well, okay. oh, no. I believe we have a motion on the table. Yeah. Yeah. 
We had a vote? We did not vote. We did not vote. But you read it again. Yeah, we did. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and! <laughs> I'm not sure I could. I'm not sure I can get through this one. So we have a vote, yes. So moved. We have consideration of a resolution of appreciation for Commissioner Mel Nygut. For that. We have to vote on it. Oh, we have to vote on it. Okay. We didn't vote on it. All right. Heard and cats here, kids. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion is carried unanimously. Congratulations, Don. Thank you. And again, our deep personal thank you. Okay. Next up is a resolution of appreciation for Commissioner Melvin A. Nair. Melvin. Oh yes, yeah. your pleasure. Support. We have a motion in support. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm not good at you. Got, you got two of them It's not like you Okay. This is even smaller print. That doesn't care. Resolution of appreciation for Commissioner Melvin A. Nyman. Whereas, Melvin A. Nyman has faithfully served the City of Alma as a City Commissioner since January 1, 1988. And, whereas, Mel was selected by his fellow Commissioners to represent the City as Vice Mayor on January 2, 2002. And, whereas, Mel was selected by his fellow Commissioners to represent the City of Alma as the City Mayor on June 1, 2002, with the retirement of then Mayor Burnett Davis. And, Whereas Melvin A. Nyman held the position of mayor for 15 years, being the longest sitting mayor in the city of Elma history, where he performed five marriages in his position as mayor, and whereas on January 10, 2017, Mel stepped down as mayor to be elected vice mayor, and then on January 9, 2018, retired from the vice mayor seat to finish out the rest of his term as he started back in 1980, as he started back in 1988 as a city commissioner, and whereas Mel has played a key role in the economic development and community development of Alma throughout his tenure on the commission, and whereas Mel has supported the intergovernmental relations within the county with the neighboring Pine River and Arcadia townships and the city of St. Louis for housing and economic development projects, and whereas Mel has campaigned to support the successful pa passage of many municipal millage issues involving the renewal of the five-year neighborhood street improvement initiatives, the $3.5 million Elmo Public Library expansion, and the enactment of 294 ordinances. Wow. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Whereas Mel has carried out his fiduciary responsibilities, which have resulted in the award of millions of dollars in grants and contributions for the municipal projects and programs throughout the city of Elmo, during his tenure with the City of Elmer, reached the achievement of sufficient fund balances and operating funds to assure the continuation of municipal services during periods of economic downturns, all of which have been accomplished through a period of uncertain municipal revenues and in the absence of any increases in the general fund operating millage. Whereas, Mel has also shared his personal time and professional talents through his service as a member of numerous boards and commissions, not only in the City of Elmer, but the countywide as well. And now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Elma City Commission, city staff, and citizens of Elma, com Elma community express their heartfelt gratitude for the contributions of Melvin A. Nyman throughout his 31-year tenure as an elected official for the city of Elma and further extends their wishes for his continued success as he once, be once again becomes a private citizen following the expiration of his current term on December 31, 2018. And be it therefore proclaimed that this resolution be pre presented to Commissioner Melvin A. Melvin a. Nyman at the December 27, 2018 Elma City Commission meeting and that this resolution be entered in the official minutes of the Elma City Commission dated this 27th day of December, 2018. Well, it has been a great pleasure to see you. Close to your phones, guys, because we're going to be calling you. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, I believe we had a motion in support on the table for Dr. Nyman. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. <clears throat> motion is carried. Okay, thank you very much. Moving down to agreements. Consideration of a resolution approving the first amendment to the water tank communication site lease agreement between the City of Alma and T-Mobile Central LLC for the use of the water tower. We have a note that the original agreement was dated September 8, 2009, and the lessee wishes to extend the initial term by five years, commencing on January 1, 2019, and renew for five successive renewal terms of five years each. The lessee guarantees to pay rent for the period of five years. Move approval. Support. <coughs> Motion to support. Any comments or questions? <coughs> Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same side. Motion is carried. Reports. We have two before us this evening. The commissioners may re receive the following reports by one resolution where a commissioner may remove any item within the section for individual discussion and vote. We receive both. Support. Motion to support. Is there anybody like to pull one of those two items? The two items are the Board of Review, December 11, 2018 minutes, and the second item is the Alma Planning Commission meeting minutes of December 3, 2018. So, hearing no comments or questions, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion is carried. New, brick, new business, we have a uh, presentation of honor awards to two police officers, Officer Stack and Officer Hawkins. So, uh, who's gonna do the honors here? Some volunteers coming forward. <laughs> Section 5.7.3 of the Alma Police Department policy states The Medal of Honor is awarded to a member for an extraordinary act of heroism that goes above and beyond the normal call of duty and is carried out at great risk to personal safety in an effort to protect persons or property. Today I have the privilege to share with you a portion of a shift worked by. Officer Stack and Officer Hawkins. On July 12, 2018, both officers were on duty and had been working traffic when they were dispatched to the scene of a structured fire at 1575 Pine Avenue. Officers arrived on scene and without hesitation they made entry. Ensuring that the residents of the building were evacuated, officers attempted entry into the apartment number 119 um, where the fire was so intense they were not able to gain access. Alma Fire Department arrived a short time later with the scene ultimately being turned over to the Michigan State Police Fire Investigation Unit. Through the investigation, it was learned that one fatality had occurred. I can only imagine that without the expedient response from Officer Stack and Officer Hawkins, this number may have been higher. It's very difficult for us to get called out to scenes like this. Um, so then I'll share a little piece from my perspective. When I arrived on scene, I noted the officers <clears throat> had made sure that the residents were out of harm's way. They remained calm and communicated with fire personnel. I watched as they resumed their duties. Officer Stack and Hawkins responded to a suicidal subject, changed the patrol car tire, and then um, checked on a suspicious vehicle, all prior to getting checked out themselves. You see, both officers acted selflessly. They continued to care for others, even though they felt the effects of the smoke they had taken in during the initial call. It is without hesitation and with great pride that we present both Officer Stack and Officer Hawkins with a Medal of Honor, a uniform pin, and a Certificate of Appreciation. Congratulations to the two officers and our thanks to them and all of the fire and safety personnel that we can employ. We do have a couple of great teams there, so it is appreciated. Okay. 
Uh, do you want me to receive that, or is that just a no, that's just a okay. Next up is our appropriations. <coughs> support. Any comments or questions on the list of bills? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same side. Commissioner Cummins. Roxanne. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Nyman. I have truly enjoyed learning from you and, and working with you, and I wish you the best in your retirement. I hope to still see you around. And thank you to officer, staff, and officer Hawkins. Same to both of you guys, it has been a pleasure to be on with you, and I have learned a lot from us. Thank you to police officers. Thank you and the rest of the Alma Police Department and Fire Department for all you do. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be in Alma. One of the other things that made me very proud to be in Alma was to come home to Alma, thing that took place, uh, the Christmas thing, which was absolutely fantastic. Kudos to everybody who had involvement with setting that. That's just a neat, neat thing to see that happening in downtown Alamo. It's a wonderful thing. Happy New Year. Just a thank you to Officer Stack and Stockton's. What they did is extraordinary. It seems to be almost an everyday thing for our police officers and certainly Now it's been, it's been fantastic. I've enjoyed it. I think the thought that came to mind one more I think I've said enough. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did enough. <laughs> Don. I have to echo that too from the sounds of this. I've done enough and said enough too. But, uh, congratulations to our two police officers. We got a really good group there. and I'm glad that we recognize them for that too. Thanks. Yeah, just a couple of things. The first, Officer Stack and Officer Hawkins, congratulations. Thank you so much. And it's great that you find out what they did after the act of heroism. It's just another day or a week for these guys. That's what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Another day in the office. And man, we really do appreciate the heroism. It's, it's, uh, it's incredible. And uh, you two guys, Mel, man, it's been a pleasure. Uh, every time there's a motion to adjourn, I keep waiting for all in favor to get up and leave. <laughs> I live in my mind forever. You, you, are, you were tremendous. You, you've been a, just a huge asset to the city of Alma. It's been a pleasure and an honor to, to, to be involved at all with, with what you've done. Thank you so much. Um, and Don, same man, I mean, you represented a very important constituent you're you're invaluable, and uh, and so we're really going to miss you. Um, it's been, like I say, it's been a pleasure and an honor to be part of this. Both you guys have been through some pretty crazy times, and it looks to me like you've done your job so well. Things, and I don't want to be jinxed now, but things <laughs> seem to be uh, really on the upswing. 2018 was a, was a was a was a big year for the city of Alma, and and I think. 2019 looks good too. Without you two guys, it would have been much, much more difficult. Thank you so much. I, it's hard to add anything to what everybody said. No, it, it just is amazing to me. I look at 1988, and, and I didn't realize you've been here longer than I've even been around the commission, longer than I've even been here. And I think I've been here for a long time. It's it's incredible to have a commitment of that of that time period. And you will always be known as the mayor. Here, that's for sure. Thank you. Don, uh, you're always the easiest person to talk to about anything we've been going through, and I appreciate that. Again, your commitment level um, to what we're trying to do here uh, and through this whole transition, you've been a, a great help to me. Thank you very much from there. Uh, I'll tell you about Hawkins. Um, so I slide back into another form of my life. I, I went on scene that night. I, I don't know why. Um, maybe old habits die hard. But I got there, and uh, um, He's, he, he's a funny guy, if you don't know that. He's a joker, he's always funny. He's funny that night. 
And then I find out later that he had to go get treated. I had no idea that that, that had even happened. So um, thank you guys for your service and what you do. <clears throat> 2018 has been uh, a roller coaster, <laughs> to say the least. Um, to you guys, staff, thank you. I didn't know. Okay. Thank you. Um, I certainly echo our appreciation to our, our officers. Um, it is amazing. I, I'm constantly in awe of people that run towards danger when most of us run away, including myself, and especially myself. I, I don't understand what drives that type of behavior, but I'm grateful that there are those that do and those that will do that for us. It is just a tremendous asset. And we do appreciate their service. And speaking of service, Don, it's been great working with you over the years. I really appreciate it. We came on this commission together, and I, we learned together, and I yeah. really enjoyed bouncing ideas off of you and some of my crazy thoughts. And you it's all so great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it has been great working with you, and you, you did bring a perspective that was, you know, we all bring unique perspectives, I guess, but yours was particularly valuable in many ways. So, And Mel, I... Certainly have known you longer than we've been on the commission together, and I've appreciated your guidance over the years. You've been a tremendous mentor to myself, and I appreciate that. Uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your encouragement and your um, help, so I appreciate it. I will certainly miss working with both of you gentlemen, and I hope you will take my calls when we call for various things as time progresses here. Our, our thanks on behalf of the community. Look forward to you. Look forward to you. seeing you guys in different roles going forward. Okay, so with that, uh, we'll open our meeting up to the public comments. If you'd like to address the commission, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and you have up to five minutes to share your thoughts. Lori, I think you want to be first. <laughs> My name is Lori Wilson. I live at 517 Michigan Avenue, Carpet B, St. Louis. I have struggled since May of this year. I have done a lot of fighting for my life. I've struggled to, at times, I wanted to give up. But count the days I can see the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel, I have got nine more days. And I will be done with that I've been through, the surgery I've been through. I've had a lot of support from the Alma PD, um, called my brothers and sisters, they've helped me, my church family, but I've got nine more days and I will be done with radiation. I am a cancer survivor and if people don't understand what a can cancer patient goes through, look at me, I fought for my life. And I've done a tremendous job. And I'm standing here proving to everybody that a cancer patient could fight for their life. They can get help. There is help out there for anybody that has cancer. I've done it. And I'm the proof. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. <clears throat> we certainly wish you continued success. Good news for your treatments. Thank you. That's what I mean next. One thing I didn't forget, I thanked uh, Eric and the committee that worked on the Come Home Yama event. That was a great event again this year. Now let us know yeah. next week we had a wrap up meeting and, and to all the business owners that stayed. There was a lot of business owners that participated this year, so that, that, that really helped. Yeah, really helped. It really brought a lot of people out, so it was, it was, it was a fun event. So thank you for all that. And I also almost would like to send my thanks to. Uh, I guess I don't know who's responsible for it, but the, the uh, municipal garage, I suspect, the tree got trimmed on the corner of uh, Fair Lane and Charles. <laughs> so it doesn't, hit, it doesn't hit my car anymore. <laughs> the corner, so. I, whoever did it, please uh, pass my gratitude along to whoever had the, the trimmer in. <laughs> I'm sure they did it. <laughs> I don't think that was it. <laughs> we, are we are trimming trees this winter. That's it's, good. It's, it's it, great, actually. Yeah. It, it's above 20, we're out trimming. I, I see that as a symbol of many other little things that we've noticed being done in 
things being done in a better, more efficient way, and you know, I am sensing the improved morale in the staff, you know, across the board. So it's all inc very encouraging, and I share Tony's optimism with a better 2019. As good as 2018 has been, I, I think Elma's going to have a better 2019. So um, we're still waiting for the next one to come to the podium. Anybody interested? Okay, hearing none, we're all. Entertain a motion to adjourn? So to adjourn. Your motion, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, same sign. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Everybody have a happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes